Yo, what's good? Today we got an easy, easy low take for y'all, only using two guards. I'm gonna show y'all my steps and tricks, man. But look, let's lock in, let's get into this video. Please stop back and fake if you don't want me in your presence. I know what I'm worth, cause she's a sad. Okay, now the first thing you do want to do when doing the type of haircut like this is, is a somewhat like of an undercut type cut, undercut or a disconnected cut, is a cut doesn't, that doesn't typically flow from the blend or the size of this hair to the top. It was just pinning it up with clips, getting all that unwanted hair out of the way and then brushing everything down. Now right here I did throw in my one guard just to kind of see what it would do. And I really didn't like what it was doing with the one guard all the way open, so I moved it to all the way closed. Um, it wasn't really taking no hair away, and he did want it type uh, kind of low on the sides. So we were just going one guard, level all the way close, that's leaving the least amount of hair. And we're going against the grain, against the grain for this cut. And so we kind of could skip the step of, you know, well, we do this step anyway. Usually, what I usually would do is go with the grain with probably a number one guard and then close the and then um you know close the grain and then go against the grain with the number zero guard open but to kind of go through that process already we went with a number one guard all the way closed so we can start off with our number zero guard when fading all the way open so this is a no guard level all the way open and right here when you're starting with the low taper you don't want to take you kind of want to keep everything towards his ear, towards that ear, um, towards the top of his ear. You don't really want to take it no higher, and all we're doing is just slowly notching, slowly fading down until we reach that first guideline, that first ball guideline that we had just set in with our trimmers. But a nice and easy way to take that first guideline out that we set in with our trimmers is taking it out with the same exact thing that we put it in with. Going against the grain with the trimmers flipped all the way over, we're just notching at that first line. Now right here, we simply just got our number zero guard. And remember, we do, this is a low taper and we do want that C cup to be present, uh, to be as present as possible. So we don't want to fade. See, I got my clippers tilted. We don't want to fade or touch into that C cup area too much. Well, really not at all. You know, I use the corner of my clippers right there just to get that, just to get little details, just to make the blend a lot smoother. But we're basically, basically repeating the same exact process, same exact steps, just moving the lever all the way down. We started with the lever all the way open. Uh, now we're just detailing with no guard. The Andes Masters is really, really, really good when it comes to detailing. Now we're going to take our soft trimmers. We're going to take our cocos. Um, I really had a hard time making these my soft trimmers because everybody said these hit, but I really just didn't see it. They really hit on... I want to say more so straight hair, but on um, coarse hair, I don't really see it, but I could be wrong. But a soft trimmer is a trimmer that's just not zero gap. A soft trimmer would allow us to take out that first guideline in a lot easier um, than a zero gap trimmer. Now what we're doing with our Annie's Masters is lever all the way open, same exact thing. Now we're slowly, slowly, slowly going down within the blend. Now keep in mind that his hair on the right side, as y'all can see, it is kind of slanted to the right a little bit. It's not just going or flowing just straight down. Um, to have a successful blend, you kind of do want to start slightly turning your clippers to the right. Um, really just going against the grain. Whatever way is against the grain for the section that you're at, that's what you want to do. Or that's the way that you want to turn your clippers. Sometimes as well as you may have to turn your clippers slightly to the right or slightly to the left. Um, just because sir, uh, a lot everybody's hair, bro, they don't, you know, just go straight down. Everybody has a different, um, you know, pattern that the hair likes to lay. Uh, now we're taking our number zero guard, lever all the way open, and we're just slowly, slowly, slowly working our way down uh, till we get that blend that we want. A blend is just a gradual fade or a gradual. Uh, as you can see, because we're doing a, you know, a down fading process, a, a term of dark to light uh if that makes any sense and now we're just doing our line prep our line prep um involves a cotton swab with alcohol and then we dried it and now right here i'm showing y'all this is very very important when about to do somebody's lineup um that you do want to use the velcro clip clips so or velcro sticky things you don't really necessarily want to use clips because when you use clips right here you can see it pulls the scalp up 
and whenever you're doing a lineup and you have these things in you could do it higher like i just did but if you do it too low it's gonna pull on the scalp so when that happens bro it it tends to make the client's lineup look it might look straight when you're first doing a lineup with the clips in there but when you take that clip out your client lineup gonna be all wobbled and everything so i do recommend some velcro um some sticky velcro I have no idea what these call. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, but it, um, yeah, I just call them Velcro strips. You do wanna get some Velcro strips to hold up the client's hair, just so you can be able to see what's going on. And our client does have a calic, so what we're gonna do, just because our client has a calic right there, I have brushed it accordingly, we're gonna go and we're gonna cut down the hair with the number one guard in the same exact direction as all the hair uh, um, you know, is trying to grow. See, you're going to see when we go on that right side, on the right side, we're combing, we're going down uh, basically with the grain, exactly where the hair wants to go. But on his left side, his hair wants to kind of flow to the left side. So we're going to turn our clippers and cut the line up down. If I was to go with the grain normally, it will be like, well, it will almost like dang near just make them bald. And we do not want to do that. Now this is a line of process, it's just a um a hot towel, <clears throat> a hot towel, my bad for my voice cracking, but a hot towel, <laughs> a hot towel and lad of mine. Now this is a very, very hot towel. Um not too hot. You do want to do a wrist test on your clients before you want to put it on their head. So you don't want nobody with no red, um, you know, no red forehead or whatnot. And this is an alcohol swab cleaning all the skin drying it out this is how i get my sharp crispy lineups as you can see right here on the back portion or uh, on the back lineup he will have a sharp crispy look it's no enhancements it's no nothing and look how these it's not only the trimmers that's making the hit it's the lineup process bro you can get away with average trimmers with my lineup process or my lineup prep you know so this is without you know no enhancements already as y'all can see that ash that white it's like a little white um layer on the lineup that just makes it pop that just makes it stand out that's why your lineup prep is such an important thing and we're basically just going around this ear and we're using our corners make sure you use our corners we're using our left corner right now and we do use our right corner sometimes when going around the ear it's just necessary like we're doing right now and whenever you want to get all the excess hair from underneath, you do want to flip your trimmers over and then go against the grain just to get all that and knock all that off. Um, now all you want to do with that left side is just match it with the right side. Make sure it's even. Make sure it's coming down. Uh, if there was to both come down all the way down to the bottom of his neck, make sure they were coming down evenly at a point in the middle of his neck. Um, that's what creates symmetry in the back taper and it's going to make your taper look so much more better. Now right here, we are going to do the C cup portion, and I'm indicating that I do want to start on the edge of the C cup. I can't start right there. I want to start right there on the edge. Right there on the edge, I'll be, um, you know, I won't be cutting in too deep. Uh, and all you want to do is start at the bottom and then work yourself uh, up a little bit and then start curving your blade. And keep in mind, right here, right here where his vertical bar will connect to a C cup, you do want that part straight in the C cup area just so it can have that strong C cup, that fire C cup look. And look at that. Now we're going to do this left side. I turn my client to the front just to see where that C cup landed at on the right side of the head so we can match the left side C cup with that right side C cup. This is very, very important. I'm taking a step back, looking at my client's lineup, and if it looks straight to me or if it looks even or looks like it's coming in the same exact spot, um, you know, we're going to start by making that C cup. Same thing, going to the bottom, starting at the bottom, then working your way up. It's very, very easy. It's really not too much to it for real. Now, whenever you're doing the class lineup, you do want to obviously start in the middle. The ob This middle is the center point. The middle is the foundation. If you can't find the middle, you want to use between the client's eyebrows or you can use their nose. Not everybody's nose is centered, but not everybody's, you know, eyebrows is centered as well. But um, you do, those are two, um, you know, starter points or points that you can use to find that middle in the client's forehead or in the client's lineup. And then you want to work your way to the strong side. Our client has no, no, you want to work your way to the weak side. And y'all, I'm keeping everything in this video. I do all my videos wrong. 
Whenever you're doing a client's line, if you do want to find your uh, your way or work your way towards the weak side, the weak side is with the least amount of fare and the strong side is the most amount of fare. Now, our client has a pretty strong lineup all throughout, so we got to choose wherever, what, uh, which side we want to um, you know, work towards, and we chose our right side because I am right-handed. Now, I'm going to tell you all the importance. No, right here, we're starting in the middle, and we're finding our way back to the left side, um, basically going back to that foundation that we set in with the middle, and then now we're working to our left side. But... The reason why you want to start with the weak side first is because if you line up the weak side, you can always take the strong side back. The strong side is, you know, if the client grows more hair and are less receding, that would be um, exam a, uh, an example of a strong side or a stronger side in the lineup or a strong lineup. So you want to work your way towards the weak side because if you if needed, you can push that right side or that that strong side back just a tad bit or however much you need just to make both sides even you know just to get that boxy line of desire that we all want and right here we're just adding our pencil he doesn't need the pencil but this just makes it pop even more and it just makes it pop it just makes it pop out a little bit more it was not most definitely not needed because y'all seen the ash line that it gave off that my line prep gave off and we are going to be adding slight enhancements. Now, with these enhancements, you don't want to make it too dark. You, we, the way I do my enhancements, you just want it to, you just want it to stand. You want the character haircut to stand out. You want the haircut at a nice, uh, casual party, but not in all of a, you know, a suit and tie type look. We just want it to look natural. We want it to look natural as possible. But we still want to give it that pop. Now, look how light this right side is. And we're just going to spray a tad bit just to make it even with the rest of his lineup. Now, look at that. Look how even that is. I flip my enhancements card over. Put a little bit more. Now, look how even. Look how all one color his lineup is. Look how if you was a, a natural or, or another person that knew nothing about barbering or, you know, his friends, they would barely be able to tell that the haircut is enhanced. That's how much enhancements I add. And now, you know, if you don't, if you're not a big fan of the razor, you can use your um your clippers, but the straight razor really brings out or really sets the cut uh, apart from others. Uh, really just makes it stand out. And if you're not familiar with a straight razor, I will be making a separate video sometime soon on how to use it properly. But if you're new to the channel, make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all like the video, and it's HYB. If you're not handling your business and what you're doing, and we out. You said you needed me just cause you needed love I told you I ain't for free just cause you ain't enough I know that you ain't for me so I just gave it up You know that I'm with the king so I can't give it up It's that life I'm never living again Say one more time I just can't see you again Danny please don't do anything crazy